Do you remember verse 1 where he was talking from righteousness? The suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Can you see glory coming back again here? There's a glory that needs to be revealed. But unlike the Old Testament, it was glory coming from outside down. This testament is glory coming from inside out. Hallelujah. Tet was revealed in us. Verse 19. He now says this. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who also subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. What the testament is to produce as sons in the order of the second Adam. Am I communicating? As sons in the order of second Adam. Anything anybody is doing on earth that can be generated by human effort is not glory. That is why it was compared to the glory of Solomon. Anything that your flesh can do, we can put together. Um, Brother Molulu, please let us do this decoration. Put light here. Buy this thing here. Put it here. You know that television that has screen, that we just, an AC that used to blow anointing AC. Amen. And um, those keyboards that used to, well, people come and say, Kaka paye ke I have found the church of my desire. Amen. That is not glory. Am I communicating, church? All those things does not touch God. For they will all pass away. Am I communicating? Oh, our brother built the biggest cathedral in Port Harcourt. Bishop Wedepo is building his own now. But that bishop's own is going to be the, the part. Is the final. There, can, there cannot be another church like what Bishop is building. The concept is bad. Ah, who oh, wicked? Ah, ah, Bishop Abba. Imagine you coming to church, hallelujah, and you see a stadium. The chairs will come down by lift. All the chairs come back. You go and enter and enter, sit on your chair. One of you are seated, the thing will kick me and you rise and lock you in. Penguin. After service, the thing will bring you back down. It's the day one bear. Everything one bear. And brother, I lost seven years. Glory to God. You will get there, you say, Ah, God is in Nigeria. Fake. He's not there. You forgot that the Bible says that the wind blew and it was not there. The earthquake came, it was not there. The everything it was not there. Where did you find him? In the still small voice. When will the church learn the ways of God? Now it's difficult to. Don't let me deceive you. Is, is it to do mouth here? Amen. If the microphone does not do well on Sunday, there will be a crisis. You understand? But it's, I know it's not glory, but we need it. Praise God. Am I communicating, church? Itself, they will deliver. See, the creation that is subject to decay cannot be delivered until sons rise. When sons rise, you will not conduct deliverances. The powers of darkness will fall from the sky. That is what Jesus is coming back for. He's coming back for sons who are fully sons. Now let me finish because I'm mindful of my time. I didn't plan this. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Now I think I may need my Bible. Did I bring my Bible? Oh my. I didn't bring my Bible. Okay, let me see how I can. Uh, you know the story in 1 Corinthians 15? I guess everybody does. Or you don't know. Now, if you don't know, there is nothing I can do. Is it 1 Corinthians 15 or 2 Corinthians 15? It's 1 Corinthians 15. Yes, it's 15. Hallelujah. Where Paul began to speak about different kinds of glory. He spoke about the glory of the Son. You remember? The glory of... Thank you very much. Just the Bible. The glory of different kinds of... So let's say one glory is different from another glory. I hope you remember that. 
Praise God. And he began to compare glories together. Okay. Then he began to speak about the resurrection. Praise God. From verse 42. He says, So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in, corrupt- in corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in natural body. It is raised in spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So as it's written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Albeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterwards that which is what? Spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the night earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Verse 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of what? The heavenly. Now the question is that the church has put this into the future. That when we die, we will now take on the image that Jesus actually came to effect in the earth. No, that's not true. If that is the truth, then why will those who have died come back with him? Hello? They must come back with him and then they must put on their bodies. Amen. Bone to bone, all of them will come. Wherever they may be, they will come back. And but don't say that we don't know how we will be, but this we know as he is, so shall we also be. Then how is he? We saw him in the resurrection. When he came, he disappeared and he ate. And after he ate, he disappeared again. Hallelujah. Nothing could hold him, yet he's tangible. The Bible says he had no blood. The difference between that Jesus that walked the earth and the one that is a quickening spirit is that he has no blood flowing in his veins again. He doesn't live by the power of blood. He lives by the power of the spirit. Amen. So we are going to have that same nature. We are the only creation in the whole of creation that will be like him. As an eternal testament of God's love for humanity. I, I don't know whether I'm making sense. For all of eternity, you will see those oaths in his hands. You will see. I don't think this, this is not where they nailed him. Oh. i sure you guys know. They nailed him here. Oh. This is where you see the nail. Where you see, if you see any Jesus that has nail here, he's a fake one. Please, he's a fake one. Because many spirits have gone out and are deceiving the world. Do you see those ones they used to draw? And those alam, 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 alam. <laughs> that has art and there is stones around him. That's the fake Jesus who is not the real one. No, Man, praise God. I'm <laughs> so let me rush. So, so we are born the image of the earthly, we shall bear the image of the heavenly. Now, this verse 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Now, it's one. <coughs> Excuse me. I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all change. How many will be changed? This is a continuation of what was said in 1 Corinthians. Sorry, Romans chapter 8. We shall all be changed. Give me verse 52. Let's continue. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. Remember the last trump is associated with the second coming. Show you people remember. Paul was right to Thessalonians concerning those who have written them and have deceived them and has caused confusion. Said, Lord, no man upset you or deceive you. Said, that day will not come except that be a falling away for us. No, I've said that. All right. But the prophet shall shine and the dead shall be raised, corrupted, and we shall all be changed. But that's not my emphasis. Now, please, can you rush over? Over. Verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, when is this going to happen? He said, if the spirit that raised up Jesus dwell in what? What will he do? That is him converting corruption into incorruptible. Praise the Lord. 
Am I making sense? Now why not say that? And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the sin that is written. Death is swallowed up what? In victory. Next verse. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The stink of death is what? Is sin. And the power of sin is what? Is the law. Can you see the progression? If you want to stop death, stop sin. And if you want to stop sin, obey the law. Simple. It's a simple progression. That is why the Spirit came that can enable you and I to obey the law. That can produce that righteousness. The simple program that is when glory will show. That's when they will now know that the glory of this testament far exceeded that of Moses. Because in the law, in the glory of Moses, it was just demoing. This one, men will rise and stand as sons of 